Radio check. Radio check. Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome new viewers to some more Stormworks. As you can see in my hand, we've got a radio. So today we're going to be building some radios. So you can use these little guys here in your vehicles with some bigger radios. And yeah, we'll show you how to hook those up. So uh, let's get started. All right, first things first, let's get ourselves a little base to work on here. And let's, you know what, let's move it over uh, to this corner here. So we can actually stop running a mile to get to our projects here. Uh, let's move that over here. Move it all the way over here and we'll move it down and we'll move it a little closer as well. Somewhere in there. That sounds good. All right. All right. Let's get building. First, we're going to need a battery. Uh, that's going to power our radio. Uh, let's go ahead and get a radio. Uh, that will help us. Uh, we'll use a small one for the sake of this uh, so you guys can see what's going on. And you know what? We'll just do it like that. How about that? Let's grab ourselves a speaker, a microphone, keypad. A push button and an indicator light. I'm going to drop two of them down here just so you, for the example you can understand it. You don't need these, but it does help you understand when you're actually transmitting and receiving a signal. Uh, so let's see. We'll go red for transmit and green for receive. All right. So now let's go to hook this up. Let's go to our power first. Let's uh, make sure everything is hooked up and ready to go. And again, you don't need these indicator lights. You could use one here or maybe a an instrument panel with several of them so you can actually see what's going on but yeah we don't need them but it is it does help us see what's going on here all right so let's hook the rest of this up as far as this goes your keypad is what channel you're actually gonna be transmitting and receiving on uh so that's pretty simple there it's the only green that you can have hook up every well so it gets a little bit confusing so try to pay attention it's not that much uh so from our push button here uh this is going to activate our microphone and it's gonna activate our indicator light for transmit, okay? Then we're gonna come from our speaker, and if that's transmitting, we're gonna have a little light right here pop up to let us know that that's working as well. Uh, sometimes audio and game can be a little weird, so this does help you understand that if something is coming through, it's a visual, it's a visual cue to let you know that something's transmitting. All right, actually, let's unhook this and let's hook our microphone up to that because we can press this all day long, but your voice won't come through. But when your voice is coming through and it's actually transmitting, then you'll know here. So that's the only thing that we need to fix here. Transmit mode on it, whether the radio is transmitting or not. Yes, let's, okay, that's what we missed. Okay, so the transmit button is there. All right, there we go. A little bit of confusion, but we got through it. Uh, let's go ahead and copy and paste this over and we're gonna make two of these. All right, so we've got that. We're gonna copy, we're gonna slide that over to there. Let's paste that. Uh, we don't really need to merge it, but why not? Let's make it one with the one with the board. Let's come over here and hook some power up to our radio here as well. There we go, nicely done. And let's give this a little try, shall we? Okay, so guys, there's one more important step you gotta do. You gotta come down here to the audio section and you gotta hook this stuff up. Otherwise, it doesn't matter what you do. Uh, so microphone goes into the audio send and then the antenna comes straight into the speaker. Uh, we'll do the same thing on that side. Otherwise, you're not going to hear anything. So let's spawn that in and give that a little go here. Okay. All right. We're on channel zero. Let's see. Test, 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 test. All right. We're coming through on both of these. All right. Let me get that off of there. That's crazy. All right. Test, test, test. Test, 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 test. All right, perfect. We're shouting through the radios here. Perfect. So these are communicating back and forth with each other, and our handheld does communicate with these as well. Uh, let's move this on, and let's do one more step with this and show you something else that you can do. All right, so now that we've built that, we can kind of change this a little bit. Uh, we're going to use the same little setup here, but we're going to double it up a little bit. Uh, we're going to get another keypad. All right, so we're going we're gonna to kind of copy this here. Uh, we'll just move it right down. We'll do a keypad. Uh, we need our speaker, we need our microphone, we need an antenna and another antenna, okay? And we're gonna need our push button here. Come on, push button. Push button and our indicators. There's one, there's two. Uh, let's go ahead and repaint these up. Green for receive, red for transmit. All right, so what we can do here is now that we have, an, we have a double keypad here, we can do one to here and one to here. So what you could essentially do is 
transmit on one frequency and then listen on another. So what this is good for is if you have someone that's sending out major signals and major communications and you don't want to talk over top of them, you can listen on that channel, but then you can communicate on another channel uh, without ever having to miss anything else. So all we're doing is the same exact thing. Uh, we're just going to take our press button and we're going to go to the microphone and transmit. Um, our microphone is going to come over here and then our speaker is going to come to here. And then our audio shall be like so. All right, audio in there. And I believe we give it some power. Let me double check here. I think everything's correct. If we've done it right, we should be good to go here. So let's spawn that in. Test, 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 test. Okay, so what's happening here is we're receiving on the exact same channel here. Um, that's why it was popping up twice here. So what we could do is come in here. We can just set B to say channel one. Uh, so now when we transmit, it's only going to transmit on channel one. So as you can see, nothing's picking up. So we'll come over here. We'll change this to channel one. Test, 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 test. test, test. All right. So now it's right, coming so through, the through the other one. Perfect. And channel zero is our listening channel. So there you go. You got two types of radios here, guys. Uh, there's a ton more that we can do. I just wanted to get you guys started on radios because uh, there's a lot more we can do with it. But if you don't understand the basics of radios, then it does kind of get confusing. So I hope you've learned something from this video. If you have, make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel. It does help us out a whole lot over here. And yeah, guys, uh, we'll be doing some more of these soon. So if you guys need want to do more radio stuff, let me know down in the comments. Uh, we can turn this into remote control kind of things uh, and do all kinds of stuff with that. Yeah, guys, thanks so much. And we'll see you in the next one.